Hello and welcome to this new video about uh, resolution of linear systems. Uh, so today my aim is to uh, describe you how to discuss the solution of a linear system in the sense that, uh, let me write it, discuss a linear system uh, doesn't mean to resolve it, so we don't want to know the exact solutions of the linear system, but it means that we want to know how many solutions it has. So this is just, let me say, a first step towards the resolution of a linear system. So as, as, as soon as we know how many solutions a linear system has, we then may control what we do with calculations when resolving it. So um, my aim is to uh, show you how one can discuss uh, the amount of solutions of a linear system, and I want to cite an important result, which is the Roche-Capelli theorem, which tells us that, um, let me say, if Ax equals B is a linear system, where A is a matrix having m row, n columns, let me say with coefficients in R, but you may take any field, and B is a vector having m entries, um, then uh, the linear system as a solution if and only if the rank of the matrix A equals the rank of the matrix obtained by uh, taking the matrix A together with uh, the column B, so we, we have one column more, so the same number of rows but one column more, and if R is the rank of A, Sorry, let me write it better. So if we let, and in this case, uh, if the rank of A is denoted by R, then the linear system has um, infinite to the power uh, n minus r solutions. This simply means uh, this simply means that uh, if r equals n, then we have exactly one solution. And if r is strictly smaller than n, then we have infinitely many solutions depending on n minus r parameters. So our aim is to use this theorem that you see it gives you exactly the amount of the solutions of a linear system and the instrument is just uh, the, the calculation of a rank of matrix. So let me give you an example of this on how to use it. And we take the following linear system, which is given by three equations in three variables. So the first one is minus x plus y plus z equals 2. The second is x minus y equals k. And the last one is hx minus 2y minus 2z equals 0 for h and k, any two real numbers. So our aim is to discuss uh, this linear system, so we want to know how many solutions the linear system has. And so let me write down the matrix A, which is the matrix of the coefficients of the variables, so it's minus 1, 1, h, 1, minus 1, minus 2, and 1, 0, minus 2, and b is the vector 2, k, 0. So, 
A with B is the matrix, which is given by minus 1, 1, H, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 2, 2, K, 0. So as you see, A is a 3 by 3 matrix, well, while A together with B is a 3 by 4 matrix with real coefficients, while A, sorry, A is a matrix, a square matrix of all the three. <coughs> so let me, uh, just for simplicity, write this matrix M. So our aim is to relate the rank of A and the rank of M. So let's start with the rank of A. And the rank of A is easy to compute because now let's first notice that uh, since the matrix A is minus 1, 1, H, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 2, it has this uh, sub-matrix whose determinant 1, minus 1, 1, 0 is clearly 1 which is different than zero. So A has a sub-matrix of order two whose determinant is different than zero. And hence, this means that the rank of the matrix is at least equal to the rank, to, to the order of this submetric, so it is at least equal to 2. And now the rank of A is 2 if and only if the determinant of A is 0, otherwise it is 3. And so we just need to compute the determinant of A, so the determinant of A is, sorry, we may use uh, the Laplace rule to compute this uh, this determinant, so we may take we may develop with respect to the first uh, the, sorry the last column using the Laplace rule. So we have one times the determinant of one minus one h minus two plus two, which multiplies the determinant of minus one 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 minus one. So we do the calculations and we see that the first determinant is 1 times, so we may forget about this 1, so it's minus 2 plus h plus twice, well we see minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, minus 1, so it is simply h minus 2. So in conclusion, the rank of a is 2 if h is 2, and 3 if h is different than 2. So this gives us the complete analysis of the rank of the matrix A depending on the value of the parameter h. Now the, let us look at the rank of M. And we recall that the matrix M is just the matrix A, so 1 minus 1, 1 h, 1 minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 2, and then we add the last column, which was 2, k, 0. And we notice that if the rank of A is 3, as A is a submatrix of order 3 of M, this means that M is a submatrix, M as a submatrix of order 3 whose determinant is different than zero, and hence this means that the rank of M is three. It cannot be bigger than three because this, the, the minimum between three and four, which, is, which are the numbers of row and the number of columns, is three, so the rank is at most three, and here the rank of M is three. So, in particular, if H is, is different than 2, then the rank of M is 3. Now what happens if the rank of A is 2? Well, we just need to look 
<coughs> and the possible uh, and other possible submatrices of uh, the matrix M. So in particular, <coughs> we know that M has at least sorry at least rank two because it has a submatrix A having rank two, and so this means that M has at least rank two, but it may have rank three. And in order to establish either it is two or three, we just need to look at the other submatrices of the matrix M. And so, for example, we may take the following submatrix. So we take, for example, there's a submatrix here, <coughs> and let us look at the determinant of this submatrix. So we take the submatrix we have here, and we take the determinant of it. So it is one minus one minus two, 1, 0, minus 2, 2k, 0. So let us look at the determinant of this one. So it is just, we may, for example, use the Laplace rule and develop with respect, for example, to this uh, second column. And so we see that it is minus 1 times the determinant of uh, minus 1k, minus 2, 0. And then we have plus 2 which multiplies the determinant of 1 minus 1, 2, k. So we do the calculation here, and we we'll see that we get minus 1, which multiplies 2k, plus 2, which multiplies k plus 2. So it is minus 2k, plus 2k, plus 4. And so this gives a 4, which is different than 0, and so this means and the rank of M is always 3. <coughs> and as you see, this does not depend on the value of K. So in particular, we know that if the rank is 2, the rank of whatever you do, the rank of M is 3, and hence, if the rank of M is 2, then the rank of A is different than the rank of M. So let us now conclude the exercise. So, we have a first case, if h is different than 2, then we said that the rank of a and the rank of m are both 3. And hence, the system has a unique solution. And then there is another case, if h is 2, then the rank of A is 2, which is different than the rank of M, which is 3. And so in this case, the linear system has no solutions. Which completes the, the discussion of the linear system. So as you see, the, the parameter K has no role in the whole story, it's only the parameter h which gives which uh, which predicts the behavior of the linear system and as you see the linear system has either a unique solution or no solution depending on, on in, 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 depending on the value of h and this concludes the exercise <coughs>